Riot officially has a new problem. Everybody has heard and everybody's probably aware of the fact that there are smurfs in the game League of Legends and people are fairly aware that you can buy accounts and you can, I mean, it's gotten so bad that, you know, you can literally look up League accounts and there's like 1.5, there's 1.5 trillion results. Actually, no, I'm reading that wrong. 1.5 billion results of being able to just buy Smurf accounts, buy whatever, hand leveled. This uh, service right here, Boost Royale, you can cho choose the, the, the server, the tier. You can choose if you want it hand leveled, not hand leveled. You can, it's, it's weird. It's so freaking weird. That this is a problem that exists however this on its own fine fine smurfs you don't want to get rid of the smurfs you know high level players want to play against low level players and shit on them whatever there are going to be smurfs in every game and they're going to find a way to get around it a smurf will more likely or can just you know pay some dude to make an account and give it to them like they'll find a way to smurf and so they created smurf cube but what about the opposite well that is what i found out about yesterday anti-smurfs more specifically uh this guy 333 league 333 who i'm not playing the audio because it's just a bunch of copyrighted music over I'm assuming copyrighted characters and memes of whoever the hell this guy is who is just streaming and is going to report players for, you know, calling him a dickhead because he does all he does is he goes out and he just loses games. He's 05. Shadow Otaku, who this is the current account that he is using um you'll see up on the video of him losing of other stuff that he's kind of lost here 04 044 5 cs 030 9 cs 051 16 cs terrible terrible games and that's just on this account this account on the surface looks fine because it's a plat 2 account that's got or the a number 706 yorick I, I don't know how much he bought this account for, but the sure as hell ain't his account. I mean, look at these stats here. A, you know, number 92 NA York in the world, or number 706 York in the world ain't going in plat 2, 168. It, like, like these, these stats, they aren't going 040 in these games. They, they aren't, that's just not how that works. It's not how League generally works you don't go from being a super dominant player to being a super shit player much like how you don't go from being a super dominant yorick to playing syndra only going 040 030 050 calling people dickheads going 220 and 13 on an account that got banned for just 14 days is what he said it got banned for you don't no actual player in League of Legends, can feasibly, without deliberately doing anything wrong, can go 12 games and win one because the team won it out of spite. 220 and 13 is garbage. Is complete garbage. For any player, for any team. And that's the one win that he's had. Which is, it's just mind-blowing. It boggles the mind that this is an issue that Riot has found themselves in. Where we had Smurf Q, now we have anti-Smurf Q, and the ability to just endlessly troll people for either enjoyment, views, or whatever the hell they want to do with it. So... Where do we go from here? What's the what's the solution? Okay, Fox, you, you gave us you gave us the problem. What's the solution? Because obviously, you know, we don't want to police 
buying accounts. That's too simple. What's the solution to these people who are throwing games this hard? It's very simple. It's incredibly, extremely simple. You just IP ban them. You hardware ban these people. That's all you gotta do. If you, if even Riot Games announced a hardware ban on players who are in this category of if you play, like say, say right, you play um, a character. I'm gonna I'm give like a 10 game. If you, if you play a character for 10 straight games or so, for 10 games out of a 30 game period, and you don't win a single one, or you play those games, and you have some sort of metric in that game. You can track a metric, metric whether it be CS, whether it be uh, the KD ratio that they have, whatever it may be. And you just account ban these people. You, you hardware ban them. It would get rid of the problem. And it's such a simple solution. And it's why I'm making this video. Because... It, it's so it's just ridiculous it's it's actually stupid this is a clip that i will pull from my own channel i'm gonna pull up a clip from my own channel in la, in real time while i'm recording this and show this to you because it is legit the weirdest thing i've ever seen i legit named it what the hell because i didn't know what the hell i was watching look at this look at this my mom was working there what we're talking the about a story fuck? He takes the, the blue buff, what? throws it over, what? which resets the blue Whoa, buff. What is that shit? What? This and it resets. This is, what the <coughs> What'd she do? She took the fucking blue buff. Wait, wait. wait. This is my favorite part. My favorite part? Favorite part? Look at this. Whoop! She's gonna do it again! Into stillness. What is this? So must but it ain't! Done uh, yet? Bro, oh. It ain't done yet, folks. You think that you think just, just trolling a blue buff? Nah, she gonna troll the ground too. Look at this. Look at this. Man, what a dick. Exactly, exactly, Jack. And she just takes it. She just takes it and chucks it. Chucks it over the wall. Resets the camp and makes it impossible. Impossible to play the game. And, you know, I highly suggest, I highly suggest, um, you know, going on to Twitch and reporting him, reporting this, this channel, 333 League 333. Um, and get him banned from Twitch. You know, uh, that that's just my suggestion to uh, eliminate the problem of him being on Twitch and doing this shit. Um, and I highly suggest that if you see a Syndra bot with a smite, uh, you dodge that game immediately. As well, as well as the as well as the final final point here. Um. For Riot, just ban the people. There's not you lose nothing. You you gain you gain everything by showing that you care about the community, and you lose nothing by showing that you know you lose. You, what are these people doing? They're not making you any money. the The only reason that this exists, the only reason that this would exist. Is if you just didn't care. Is that if you didn't care so much about the game, you would actively let this type of stuff happen, and that's it. The only reason. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It needs to. It needs to get better. It needs to stop. Right. Just fix your. This just just hardware ban them. It would be so easy, and you'd lose no. You'd have nothing to lose by getting rid of these members of the community. You're not losing money. You're not losing actual like players. The only thing that you're doing is 
helping the community by getting rid of people who actively want to troll and ruin it for everyone else. So, balls in your court. Hopefully, uh, you make a right choice. Hey, this is a post-production packs in here at the very, very end of the video. Um, I'd just like to say something about the Twitch account that was posted, 333league333. Um, as I was actually in the middle of recording this video, like, I, sh I kid you not, his stream got banned, and then he, he went offline, his stream was, his stream went offline, he appeared to be banned, and now mid-recording appears to be unbanned, but, yeah... This, uh, if it, if he's still up on Twitch, report him, ban him, get him off the platform, providing no value. Bye.